Yep. Got him. That's a good fish. Oh, wow. No! Ah! Oh. What's going on, everyone? In today's video, it was perfect overcast conditions, and I knew I had to get out and throw some lures for some trout and redfish. So I'm gonna start with a top water this afternoon. This is an all white spook. It's one of my favorite top waters, and this time of year there could be some big trout around here, which is what we're gonna target first. I have this lure tied up on my heavier setup. This is my Pen Battle 2 4000. It's got 20 pound braid on here on my St. Croix Mojo Inshore 76 medium power rod. For leader, I got about a two and a half foot section of 25 pound fluoro leader, because that's what I had on there to start with, but Typically, I'll put on mono if I'm strictly throwing top waters, but you can't go wrong with either one. And right now, just fishing this little tiny like sandbar island and all around it is just grass and little potholes. And in the winter, the spot usually holds some good trout. All you're doing is kind of like twitching your rod back and forth like this. And I don't know if you can see it because the bait's pretty far out there, but it's just kind of zigzagging back and forth on the surface. It's called a walk the dog kind of movement and it just imitates like a injured bait fish. This one's probably more or less looking like an injured mullet to these fish. Think about the stop waters. You can absolutely bomb it if you're on the right setup. You pop it about five or six times and then you let it sit for about a second. So you give it a nice little walk the dog and then just let it pause and start walking it again. And I don't know why that little pause, that little hesitation especially trout just seem to hammer right on that one thing with trout if they don't get hooked when they hit it the first time they will continue to hit your bait pretty much until you bring it back to the boat or they eventually get hooked if they get a hook and they spit it then then they know and they don't hit it anymore but they will continue to hit a bait until they get hooked oh got hammered Yep, just move it. Got him. That's a good trout. That's a good trout. He hit it aggressively once, missed it, and then he just did one of those like quiet, just kind of like sucked it under. That's when he got hooked. Uh, he's not as big as I thought, but I'll take him for our first fish. Probably like 15. Probably not even gonna measure this guy. Probably just get him unhooked. It's best not to touch trout if you can avoid it, just so you don't take the slime coat off of there their skin that's what helps protect them protect them from like diseases and a lot of different things 15 16 inch trout right there see dude best release on a trout is not to touch them unless you're keeping them of course but we can't keep them here in the tampa bay area until may of next year Oh, there we go. That was sick. I was half paying attention there. I kind of, I kind of woke me up. Yeah, about the same size. He just inhaled like the, the back third of that lure. Let's get those hooks out of you. Another solid trout right there. He's got this one last hook in him. There he goes. Like I said, I don't really want to take them out and touch them if I don't have to, but if I end up getting like a really big one then, I'll wet my hands and measure them and stuff. So I feel like I should explain why I said we can't really keep trout until next year. And that the same thing goes for redfish and snook. And that's because the FWC closed trout, redfish, and snook uh, to help the populations regrow after a bad red tide that we had in 2018. It was supposed to open up, I'm pretty sure this year, or maybe last year, I kind of forgot, it was supposed to open up, but then they extended it. And honestly, I'm like personally seeing some of the benefits of them closing it for these uh, two years because I've caught more like slot size redfish, snook and trout in these past couple years than I have in the past seven or eight years. So it seems like the population is coming back strong. And if all goes right, then it'll be open May, of 2021. Oh, wow. That seems like a decent trout. Come here. 
he just hammered it. How big are you? Dude, this is a bigger fish. Oh no, I'm kind of pulling him sideways, that's why. Yeah, no, it's about the same. Still a solid fish. 15, 16 inch trout. That might be like a 17 actually. There he goes. Oh my God, I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, that trout just almost knocked the rod out of my hand. I was looking at how shallow it was getting and then freaking walloped it. Let's change spots. Let's go for redfish. Pulling up to spot number two here. This island over here, it's got a lot of oyster bars, a lot of rocks and stuff around it. Usually hold a ton of mullet. Uh, I'm not seeing too much. Oh, I see some up there, so we're looking good. We are looking for redfish here. But I have caught, I mean, I've caught snook and trout here before, but snook are probably gonna be pushed up in the creeks with this cold front that we had pushed through. But the fact that it's feeling like it's like high 70s right now, they might be out and about. Oh, Osprey fight. Whoa. There we go. That's a good fish. I wasn't even looking. That's a really good fish. No! Ah! No! Oh! I wasn't looking. I. Oh my gosh. I haven't gotten bit in probably 45 minutes to an hour. And I don't even. I, I can't even tell you what I was looking at. I was looking at something else and just felt the thump. And that was a. That was a big trout. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. That was like a 24 inch redfish that went completely out of the water after that and completely missed it. That was wild. Oh, come on. Oh, I have him. He had it the whole time. This is a good fish. Come here. I think it's a trap. Where's that? Oh no, it's a red. A little red. Awesome. Not as big as the one that blew up on, on top before, but hey, I'll take it for the first red of the day. No, get away from the motor and the power pole. Yeah, it's like a low 20 red. He had it the whole time, I didn't realize. He hit it and it went under and usually, well, I didn't feel any weight when I reeled and kind of set a little bit. Just assumed the lure would pop back up and it just never did. That's a solid red. That is awesome. The top water just hanging out of his mouth. Let's get those hooks out of him. 
Yeah, that is a solid redfish right there, actually. I thought he was much smaller at first. He's 23 inches. 23 inch red on top water. I will take that. Oh, he was ready to go. See you, dude.